my name is Bernadette. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about a topic that is very common and very human. It is uh, the feeling of not having any control. If you have the feeling that everything slips through your hands, that every, everybody decides over you, that you your voice is not strong enough, that you don't achieve the results you, you, you would like to because there are other people interfering and other people are more powerful than you. And you have the impression that everything gets out of control and you have no control over your life. And there are three decisions you have to make. And these three decisions, I can guarantee you, will bring you back, will bring you back, will get you your power back. The first decision you have to make for yourself is that you take 20 minutes out of your day to sit with yourself. If this is in the morning before you get up, if this is 20 minutes before you fall asleep, if this is 20 minutes you're waiting for your kids to get out of school and you, can, you sit in the car and uh, uh, wait for them to pick them up, if it's 10 minutes you're waiting in line somewhere, you have to take consciously 20 minutes in your day where you only sit with yourself, where you're not distracted by anything, where you're not letting your thoughts um, um, run uh, with the horses, uh, your shopping list, whatsoever. These 20 minutes, you just breathe and you just concentrate on your heartbeat and you just concentrate on being alive. Because the simple fact that you do this, first of all, it is good for your overall nervous system to calm down, to con concentrate on your breathing. It will give you automatically the gratitude to be alive, to have this life and to be alive. And this outside noise, all these voices, all these influences, all these irritations, in the end, it's your heartbeat, it's your existence, you're alive right now and it's, that's all that counts. And this will be installed in yourself and this will give you the basis for everything else. This will give you a resource for strength and power and determination and the long, for the long haul. The second decision you have to make is that it doesn't matter what irritates you, it doesn't matter who irritates you, it doesn't matter what circumstances, before you react, before you get back to somebody, you have to sit with your emotions. You have to sit with it, you have to process it. This is something, this is, this is, self-worth. This is actual what they are all talking about, about self-love and all of this. You have to give yourself the space and the time to sit with your emotion and it doesn't matter what frustrates you, who and what irritates you, before you respond, before you get back, before you take any action, you have to sit with these emotions because you have to trust your mind, your heart, your intelligence. This is actually working by itself. You don't have to have so much control over anything. You don't, you don't control your, your reasoning. If you sit with your emotions just for a little bit, 
your heart and your mind, they will work out things. They will find different aspects of this topic. They will find different angles how to see it. You will find the right words if you want to address yourself and want to express what you are feeling. If you want to take the moment and talk to someone who is frustrating you and irritating you and triggering you, give yourself the moment, the space to sit with these emotions, to let yourself process these emotions and then make a decision to address this topic, to uh, talk with this person or to actually take certain actions to solve and to find a resolution for a certain a certain problem in your life. And the third decision you have to make for the next 28 days, make a decision to, to actually in your day take action of something that nurtures you. If this is like you replace it with something. If this is reading three pages out of a book instead of scrolling, if this is a healthy uh, skincare routine in the evening instead of watching this series you always watched, if this is having a walk in nature instead of doing the laundry or something you always do, or if this is uh, of, uh, taking action and following one of your interests, if this is repairing your car or uh, if you want to get better in gardening or something that interests you, to actually dedicate half an hour a day instead of getting distracted and chatting uh, with your friend on the phone and gossiping about the other friend or going out and having a beer at the pub, make a con conscious decision to dedicate 30 minutes of your day to something that is just for you that nurtures you, that gives you pleasure, that is something that is just, fe just feels nice and easy and is giving you something. You dedicating 30 minutes out of your day to something that is good for you. If you do this if you make these three decisions, I can guarantee you that your inner core, that your inner self-confidence, your energy, your inner power will successively be more clear and you will be happy. Oh, there is my dog. There is my dog. Chippy, come here. Chipsy. <laughs> so he also is something that gives me so much pleasure. Yo, 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 yo. He is such a, a beautiful, beautiful part of my daily life because it's nice to touch him and he's a friendly fellow and I am out in nature and it's just an element in my daily life that is giving me so much, that is grounding me so much and that in the end is empowering me. So, if you want me to assist you to find the elements, uh, to be accountable, to, to find accountability, to follow this, follow through with these three decisions, I would be delighted to help you, to guide you through this, to find the three topics in your life you want to follow through this, to find more core inner strength, 
please, there is a um, um, uh, contact form in the comment section or write me an email. Otherwise, like, subscribe and share my videos. And this was my message for today. And I wish you an empowered evening and empowered morning. And take care. Bye-bye.